Greetings everyone, <coughs> I'm Rusty Dog, but you know that already, and welcome to Elite Dangerous. So, we're going exploring today, sort of. Um, I'm just waiting, there it is, there we go. My YouTube's a bit lagged. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I'm just finishing off the last of my toast. I'm hungry. Um, I was just looking at the screens here because when they were advertising the Diamondback Explorer on here, it looked like it had the same livery as the one I've got. I don't know if it was, but anyway. So there it is. <clears throat> it's called Pharaoh, as in the Egyptian pharaohs, Pharaoh Gold. Doesn't look gold to me. It looks orange from some sides and yellow from others. It's weird. But there she is. So, um, as you guys know, I've got some ships on my Rusty account that are named after some of the family dogs. This one's named after a friend's cat, Kitana. So yeah, Mandy's cat. If you know Mandy, you'll know who I'm talking about. But this is, yeah, just another, it's an animal stroke ship name. So maybe we'll end up in the Cat's Paw Nebula. No, maybe not. I don't even know where that is. Um, I already know where we're going, though. Is it apostrophe S? Oh, there's a cat's eye as well. Okay, this looks a little bit far out. Actually, that's not too bad. But we're not heading... There, we're going here. <clears throat> we're going to the Blue Planetary Nebula. There she is. We're heading here. 40 jumps via Spanish, so it's going to be largely cut and paste. And this is where we're going. This is going to get us the required distance that we need to unlock, uh, or at least, yeah, get the unlock for Professor Palin. And then we can upgrade the thrusters. We've got thruster to grade 5 with him. So this has to be done. All right. So, assuming I can stay awake. <laughs> it's been a day. It's been a day. Right. Who is with me on the stream today? Rick. Midgive. Hi, Rick. Um, just popped in to ask where Katana came from. Yep. A uh, friend of mine's kitty cat. Um, and I've answered you on the Discord as well. Steve Zodiac. Hi, Steve. Good day. Uh, loot. It is, yeah, it's very yellow. It's just the lighting, though. I don't think it's actually this yellow, really. But who knows? Uh, the lighting's never normal, is it, in Elite Dangerous? So we don't know. Commander KSY. Hey, Commander KSY07. Simondo Psycho. Hi, Simondo. Uh, Andy K, good afternoon Andy, welcome to the stream. Kathina, hello, you're at Lars, I. Lars, not so bad, I. Digital Aspects, good evening Digital, how are you sir? And Breisinger, 1971, did I get that right? Breisinger, hello, welcome, okay. So, to unlock Palin, we, yeah, we need, we need to give him some stuff as well, but one of the things is, no, Kitana, Kathina, not even related. <clears throat> nope. <laughs> so, boom, 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 before we set off, I've got, I've just packed everything. Yes, I think that's where the cat was named from, Kathina. I believe so. Um, I think Mandy named the cat Kitana from that. 
and I've just grabbed that. So I don't even know if she knows yet. <laughs> I did. I have told her. Right, you gained access to Professor Palin because you have travelled at least five thousand light years from your career start location. All right. There's only three possible places I could have started from. So as long as we're a couple of hundred light years away, but I'm sure we'll get notified and Elite won't require us to re-instance to get that message. They wouldn't do that to me, would they? So. Sir D. Hi, Sir D. Welcome. Now, I, I've got Elite Observatory Core running. I don't know if it's going to update on my account. My antivirus had a problem with it, but it wouldn't give me the option to uh, exclude it or in any way yet or, or to just allow it. So it's running. So we'll see if it's going to work with this account and update because I'm planning on largely, at least for the for the first part of the journey, just jump and scoop to get out of the bubble. And any um, anything that Elite Observatory Corps picks up and tells me about we can we can take a look at otherwise I just want to kind of get there um, maybe we can just take our time on the way back but we're going by a Spanch route and Spanch reckons that we're looking at 40 jumps um, which is not a lot so we'll get the first one in I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to rearrange these windows so I've got the chat on the screen uh, I know I know pop out chat go and then bring Spanch to the front there you go genius <laughs> right so first jump is normal jump normal jump and it's telling me when to refuel as well so we're going to have to paste each jump in, unfortunately. So we're going to be making one, two, three. Fourth jump will be a neutron star. Okay, are we ready? Cramlock, 07, and Mr. Budman, 07, sir, with a capital O. Codex Commander stats. Yeah, they're all within like 200 light years of each other, Simonda. So as long as we get a bit beyond that, but uh, you know, so yeah, we'll be good. Uh, the range on the ship's around 67, I think. Um, yeah, 67. I don't know where I got the other 10 light years, but it's just been lightly engineered. We've got the FSD done, we've got the Guardian FSD booster on it. Everything is D-rated and we've got the lightweight sensors and that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. Oh, I did the thermal spread on the power plant on the FDL and we still have heat issues on it. But I'm just going to put it down to a quirk of the ship that we're going to put up with. Right. Vamanos, let's go. On my fully engineered one, I got 77, so it's only I'm only losing 10 light years. But 67's not bad. I can cope with it. We've got 3D shields. I think the rest is just... Like where I'm using uh, grade 4 power plants and thrusters and whatnot, it could be that on my other one I'm running 3s. Okay, see you in a while, bubble. Now, this is a double-edged sword for me because I do want to just jump and scoop to get there. But I also want to use the opportunity to increase my exobiology and exploration rank as well. You are clear of the station. Until next time. No, yeah, that's true, Simon, though it does as well, yeah. Yeah, this one is just uh, standard. So, yes, um, welcome everybody anyway. 
nice to see you all here on Sunday. So oh, I went out this morning early. I woke up around half six and then I went back to sleep again for another three quarters of an hour or something. Woke up about quarter past seven and went shopping around half nine to get some stuff. I fancied I fancied some cream, fresh cream fruit scones. I just had a hankering for them, so I went went the 15, 20 minutes to the supermarket to get them because closer supermarkets don't have them. And came back, spent, what, four, four and a half hours, maybe five, editing a video today. And I just finished that not so long ago and then I'm straight into the stream. So a bit tired on four hours sleep but there you go right so it looks like bio insights is working on elite observatory core it's switched to command oliver hardy an explorer looks like that working guess we have to wait i think in order for elite observatory core to tell me cool stuff it's in the system. I think we have to do an FSS, but we're going to do a few jumps out first because we're what all we're doing now is heading to Jackson's Lighthouse. And I was not in the uh, in the range there. I'm just going to go straight to Jackson's. <clears throat> And see if it'll do it in two jumps. It should. Yeah. Right, now it's telling me not to fuel here. But I should have fueled in the other systems. Oh, I don't know. All right, let's just do it and hope we don't run out. I wasn't obeying the uh, don't and do fuel signs. Yeah, we'll work around it, Kathina. Um, Mick, hi Mick. Isn't it um, St. Patrick's Day today as well? <clears throat> It's weird because the video I was editing was, I started editing it on Saturday, which was the 16th, and the video is dated, it's a, from a radio show dated 16th of March 2002. So exactly 22 years later, I'm, I'm editing a radio show into a video. <laughs> it's, it happened the same last week as well. Uh, right, so we're not going to fuel here. So, Neutron, yes, and then we've got another system called Omega Carinae, which has a Neutron star, but it's also requesting us to refuel there as well. Now, I know you can't refuel up a Neutron, so there's got to be two, two different stars. Right, so here we go. The beginning of the destruction of our FSD starts here. Um, which brings me to a question. Please tell me I packed an AFMU. <laughs> nope. Here's me going through Neutron stars, and I didn't pack an AFMU. Yeah. I mean, we'll still get by. Right. Um. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, so this one has got outfitting. If you have a fleet carrier with outfitting, do you decide what you stock? I'm sure I'll make it without an uh, FMU. I, the jump drive, all it's going to do is just get a bit uh, intermittent, but it will work. It won't. It won't cease to function. Hmm. What can we do? All right. Um. Right, I'm guessing if that's the case then there's not going to be many people suggesting that they haul AFMUs around. So, let's find a populated system before we go too far out. Okay, we'll head over here and see if we can grab all the one, then we'll jump back. See you in a bit, Jackson. Don't go anywhere. I only need it for the FSD, that's all. I'm not sure how many neutrons there are on en route. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22. So each one will take around 1% of FSD. So we would be down to, what, 78% on the FSD. And if we use the same coming back, then we'd be down to 56. Let's say, let's say 55. We'd still be above 50%. Um, so it would be, it would get intermittent, really, but it would still work. Alright, so let's see what we have. Let's go in here, I think. We'll go to Aristotle Orbital. Do, 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 do. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just get one from here. They must have them here. I think we we've definitely got room in the in the optional internals. Yeah, I I went down to sixty six point nine five jump range on this, and so I had to go and grade five lightweight the sensors in order to get back up to. 67 and I just made it 6703 and then I added a heat sink uh, you know it settled at 6703 with a heat sink on and uh, now we're just going to stick on an, an AFMU can't remember if AFMUs carry any mass or not can't remember yeah I think it would Simon do yeah if it does it too often sometimes like maybe every couple of jumps it'll just do it and then other times you get a malfunction, which is fair enough. It happens. <laughs> yeah, so this is kind of the, the colour. It's kind of weird though. It's it's orangey. It's, it's, it says gold, but I don't see what realm. Well, power draw I think I'm okay for. Yeah, 92. We're good. We're good for power. Just get a little one. We only need it for the for the FSD, unless I screw up, which is unlikely. <laughs> hey, aim to misbehave. Hi, hi. Hello. 07 and all that. Um, 
Yeah, I'm going to be optimistic here. No errors. Even though my brain's tired, no errors. No errors. I was optimistic yesterday with the Airbus flight we did from Los Angeles to San Francisco and it all went goody goody goody. So, same here. Wow, it's amazing that the chat is full of just green. There's so much green, man. That's just awesome. That's awesome support. Ah, that's a good thought as well, Mr. Budman. Yes, indeed. Doesn't it just, like, bring it to a, a condition where it's just barely workable, though? Well, it's like a cowboy repair or something, isn't it? <laughs> something like that. I don't know. But yeah, reboot repair. Normally when I do reboot repair, it's just to bring the shields up. I've never really done it just to get actual repairs done. Uh, right, here we go. It ain't easy being green. Yeah. Just have a bash in, a, ba a bash? Just have a bath in mushy peas and you, you, you'll be green. Yeah, that's true, Kathy, and it is. It's St. Patrick's Day, so it's good that we've got a lot of green in here. The foremost patron saint of Ireland. Rid, rid the country of snakes, apparently. Ooh, where am I heading? Come on, DBX, you can't really have that much inertia. Visual acquired, heading is good. Didn't he also bring Christianity to Ireland as well? But it was the it was the dawn of Christianity? I don't know. Touchdown. Systems offline. Are oh, you liking the DBX, eh? Yeah, well here we go. We're using one for exploration right now, Kremlock. Patricio! Hi, Patricio! Oh, 07. <laughs> Was 07 ever used in anything before Elite Dangerous, or has it come about because of? I don't know. Right, optionals. So we do have, we've got a 3 and a 2 and a... Well, let's go for a 3. Oh yeah, baby. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay. That's out. Jesus. Let's try for a two. Okay. Put it in. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, it's killing us on power here, but... I think we'll be okay. Let's have a look at the percentage. Yeah, we're good. So what we're going to do, we can turn off stuff as we need it. Look at the power. All right, so we're going to we're going to deactivate it. I'm not going to need the cargo hatch anyway, so that can be deactivated. But we can leave this off. Um yes, if I bring it online, we will stay under the 100%. True. But the 11% extra is going to cause extra heat. And I don't need all that. So we're going to leave it off. Okay. Um, cool. Again. Vamonos.
Jackson's Lighthouse. And yeah, we're good. That's a wise choice on these shields, Rusty. Okay. Right. Barely any fuel usage on this one. Come on. Jump gate, jump gate. Uh, I remember a game. I used to play this game a lot on the Spectrum. Uh, it was called Time Gates. Time Gates and Dark Star were two sci-fi-ish games or space games I used to play on the Spectrum. I loved them both. They were good and elite. Alrighty, let's get some FSD destruction on the go. So, shallow angle in. And kill the engines. Now, making a noise. Okay. And the next jump is the Omega Carinae system, another neutron star but also requiring fuel, even though we've got a lot. It's telling us to fuel for a reason and that's because, well I don't know actually because it's asking us to refuel in the next system as well, which I don't know why, can't work that one out. But I'm just going to do what it tells me. Log to what? Hello, 07. Nah, I won't be heading there. I've got, I've got this to do. There's plenty more Titans to explode yet. I reckon it'd be the same as the as the last one. Isn't it about time, or will it be next week? That the uh, uh, the the pea soup cloud from the first one, the Tyrannus, will die down, and we can all go and explore. New codex entry: B type giant, body B, uncommon. Uh, type. right. Neutron this is not a new. There's one. Neutron star. Yeah, there's a neutron star in this system, and we're gonna have to. White ring. Here we Body go. It's working. White ring. Body C. Uncommon secondary star type. Body AB4. White ring. Uncommon secondary star type. Wow. It's true because it's uncommon to have a neutron star as a secondary. Already accessible. Oh, sugar. I wish I'd known. So if I go in the cloud, say, in a few days, I'll still be able to salvage in there? It's constantly salvageable? Or is there a limited supply of stuff? All right. Oh, there's two neutrons here. Wow, and we're right next to the bubble as well. Almost, almost every planet's landable. Right, so we need to pop over to one of these for sure. This is going to be fun. Right, so we are fueled. I'm not sure why it's asking me to fuel here when it's also asking me to fuel in the next system. The hell do I need to fuel here for then? We've got fuel to make the jump. You know what? It doesn't make sense, so I'm not going to bother. I'm going to fuel in the next system. It doesn't make sense to fuel here and then fuel in the next one. It's, doesn't, it's pointless. Oh, I see. It just wants me to scoop. <clears throat> Not pointless after all. Okay. 
Yep, okay, ignore what I said. We need we need the supercharge off it. And we've refueled anyway. It was right Oh Jesus, it was right there. Yeah, that's external applications doing that Remlock. We've got some external applications with some plugins. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen, we've got some text flashing up to show us what systems we're in and all that stuff. Oh, Jesus. What? It's, it's, it's there? Oh, and it's a fast one. Oh, Jesus. This is... Okay. Let's try this one. This is a bit further away, guys, but I, it might not be one of those fast rollers. I hate those. This one's a little bit further away. So another neutron here. Yeah, Sponge is in beta, though. Yeah, I'm running Elite Observatory Core and all of its plug so if you if you grab elite observatory core and do a google search for elite observatory core plugins just grab it'll take you to a page you just grab all of those get them installed and then you need to go into the there's a menu in elite observatory core called core you go in there that's basically settings and you have to enable the voices the, the voice feedback for the for all the different plugins so um, pajamas and comfy slippers yeah I don't even I've got yeah I've got mine but I don't sometimes don't wear slippers certainly not if I'm sim racing or anything or I'm not one of these people who go to the supermarket in these people can't be bothered to get dressed let's go down to the supermarket in pajamas and slippers <sighs> it's like the Walmart crowd I suppose So, Omega Karine has two neutron stars, and neither of them are the main star. That's something. Lots of landables here. And... Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. They should all be arrested. <laughs> well, you see, we're not that far from the bubble, and look, the Colsac Nebula is right there. So we're heading, we're heading to, I think it's here, or is it here? It, I think it's in this corner, guys. I think it's right here, where we're headed. Colsac's right there. I'm not even sure if I've been to Colsac. It, it seems quite black. <clears throat> Omega Carine sounds like a very expensive watch. Omega. Don't they pronounce it Omega? 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 Omega. Oh, no, Omega would be like an expression of exasperation. Omega! Oh, my God. OMG. <laughs> Oh, this is, yeah, this is Oli, Oliver Hardy right here, this one, the one we're in right now. I think you mean Stanley, right? There is, there is a Commander Stan Laurel. Um, he came into one of my chats, I think, and we actually got on stream together. No, not, no, Frank, no, no. Um, Statue of Liberty was on the agenda, but then I, at the last minute on the stream, I, I discovered the, uh, the place we're going to now, the Blue Planetary Nebula. 
I ain't been there before, and it's one of those, you know, spherical nebulas with the orange squishy bits. <laughs> yeah. It's like beige and orange squishy bits. Yeah. Yeah, it's got uh, bifidus digestivum and omega carinae. Healthy for your neurons. Neutrons. Neurons. Hi, Cosmic. I was tempted to do a Scottish accent there, but I didn't want, want to risk offending. <laughs> all right there, Cosmic, you all right? <laughs> oh, I don't even know where that comes from. <clears throat> right, the neutron, it's starting to glow now. You can see there. Please don't be a fast, swirly one. Otherwise, it's a waste. Approaching a neutron from distance, man, to get into its tail. That's going to be something. Yeah, it is. It must be a type of biscuit. Hey, when if you go to the McVitie's website, do you still need to accept cookies? Really? Is there any need? Hmm. Is there? We've already accepted them by... <laughs> oh no, never mind, ignore me. That's akin to me asking if Spider-Man has a website. <sighs> right, <clears throat> so we're closing in here quick. Still can't see the uh, arms on this thing. Oh jeez, it's getting bright now. Oh, wow. Sunglasses on. Jesus. I don't know what speed to go at here. Oh, there we go. We got them. Jesus is bright. Is it me or is it... I've got my screen brightness turned down as well. We have to be freaking careful here. Essential cookie, yeah, like hobnobs and chocolate hobnobs for dipping. I tell you what, I'm getting into right now, biscuit-wise, is the uh, the choc milk chocolate malted milk biscuits, the one ones with the cows printed on them. Oh no, I've just got a hankering for those now. Right, I have no idea why I'm sharing that, but there you go. By the way, a hobnob is what a guy gets if he burns it on the, on the cooker. Drive operating beyond safety limits. Oh, please. There we go. All right. Right, next thing on the list is Rego AQX. And it is a fueling system. We will be required to fill up. No, 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 no. Forget that. Clear. Just, just click, just click thingy. There we go. Okay. We don't need to plot any routes. That's the whole point of neutron starring. Rego. Rego is how Scooby says let go. Rego! Or it could be Lego. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the best dunking biscuit has to be the chocolate hobnob. It's, that's tough to beat. And milk chocolate digestives. I bought milk chocolate. I bought chocolate digestives the other day, and I accidentally bought the plain chocolate ones. But I like plain chocolate, so I'm good with it. Right. So we are required to scoop here. Let's de-scan it. Oh, 
it said it did say system complete didn't it so the next system we jumped to were not having any fuel because so it's, we're going to jump in the next system we are not going to refuel even if the option is there because the jump after that is 67.28 which is beyond our normal jump range but because we're burning off fuel we will be able to make that extra 0.25 Mr. Angry Oh, I haven't dropped a biscuit in yet for, for ages I don't take that I don't leave it in there long enough to take that chance <laughs> right so current proper jump range on this 6703 6710 right now we're gonna need 6728 <clears throat> so the fuel burn off from here and we can't scoot from the next tower anyway it's oh freaky guess who didn't read the video description ha 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 <laughs> Uh, we're going to the Blue Planetary Nebula because it sounds good. Jonala, hi Jonala, Space Jesus. Hmm. No, I'm saying nothing. Okay, jump range now is 67.92, so yeah. Do not scoop. Okay, so next jump is. I think I should take these off because I don't. I'm going to get lost. So where we're doing next? 6728, so it's this one. Ooh! We're ju jumping to this one. Anybody needs a hip? If there's nothing in a hip system, would it be a waste of time? not connect to my brain when it's tired it comes up with all sorts of stuff yeah not not messiah though frank it would be messier wouldn't it messier isn't what isn't that what most of the stars are named like messier 487h 6h2 or something i don't know Also, if you if you make a, no, forget it. Um, doesn't matter. You know, too many puns in a row. Yeah, it can lead to one of those Monty Python esque funniest joke ever scenarios. Or uh, it might go the other way. Right, while we're scoopering, apparently we fuel in the next system, and then we don't fuel in the next two because they are neutronias, neutronia stars. Oh, I don't know. It was going to be something like if you make, if you, because you know, if you want to make your own clock, you can just get anything you want and then you buy those, the, the mechanism in a box, don't you? Where the battery goes in. You buy the hands and you can make a clock from whatever you want if you're artistic and creative. So you just need to buy the, you know, the cogs and the bit. You know what I'm talking about? The clock mechanism, the, the square plastic box with all the bits in where you put the battery. And you can buy a set of hands and then you can just carve your own thing out of a piece of wood or make it out of glass or whatever you want so if you'd made a clock out of rubbish from the bin or whatever that would also be a waste of, of, of time 
See? Now you wish you'd never asked. See, I told you. Don't blame me, Frank. Blame um, John Arla there for pushing me. <laughs> You've been sucking a titan? Lucky boy. You missed a T out there, Cosmic. <laughs> I do that in my streams as well. I miss T's out. I really should drink more. You can get clocks where the numbers go backwards, yeah. Then you gotta do this, you gotta make the hands go the other way as well. Oh, are we supposed to scoop in here? 77? Yeah, we are. Okay. Yeah, and we better because we're not allowed to scoop for the next two. I've got enough fuel in here to do two neutron jumps though. But okay. Just you see, Kathina, just because you said Mr Mr. T, my brain's come up with another stupid bad joke. These jokes are gonna get worse, eh? They they're gonna get to the level where people will unsubscribe. Why did Mr. T buy an electric car? Because he pities the fuel. Ah, pity the fuel. No, see? Just invented it in my head right now. That's why they're so bad. They they need their working progresses. They need to be worked on. I pity the fuel. Anyway, right. Let's get this, and while we're jumping, we'll get the next system into the coffee buffer. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Yeah, I've had a couple of teas today. I did, I did buy, I, I mentioned on the last stream I was going to buy some hot chocolate and I, I actually remembered, but uh, oh boy. I didn't want the one where you have to add milk. I can't be bothered heating milk up, and I I never. It, water adding water is easier, so I got the Cadbury's highlights stuff. You've got to add three heap teaspoonfuls though, and it's way too sweet. It's way too sweet. But it does. Yeah, if it wasn't if it wasn't that sweet, it would taste nice. Hot chocolate's nice at the end of the night. Hey Mick, hope this helps people let him get out. <laughs> Let's celebrate their first super on a live stream. Oh, there you go. Do you guys get that message? Let's celebrate their first super on a live stream. Cool. <clears throat> there's a, there's a uh, feature called Super Thanks now, isn't there? I have no idea if I've got that enabled on my channel or not. I don't think so. It's basically where you, it's like a super chat, but you do it in the comments underneath the video. You know, after the stream, not in the live chat, you can do it when you're reading. But <clears throat> I have no idea whether I've got that available on my channel. I don't know whether it's just that I can't see it and other people can, or it's not enabled. I, or I, ah, I think it might be that it's not enableable in the UK. I think that's what it is. I don't know why, but there you go. Um, are you upgraded to alpha? Oh, thank you, Mick. Um, yeah, are you on Discord? Because I'll have to reflect that on, on the Discord there. 
Right, we're jumping into this place. Is this the first neutron? Wait a minute, what's going on? Stop. Oh, Mick. Hey, fair game, got a membership. Thank you, Mick, that's very kind of you. Yeah, if you're on my Discord, let me know. Ah, oh, you are, okay. I'll, I'll put you up in the Alpha Dog section. Um. Oh yeah, you are, of course you are. Of course you're on my thing, I remember. Um, got to find you now. Ba -ba -ba -boom. There you are. Okay. It doesn't let me... Why isn't it not letting me add the roll? Hold on. I mean, if I don't do it now, I'm going to forget. Oh, that's annoying. It's a finicky little thing, is there? Uh... Yeah, you can only change roles on the chat. Have you, uh... um, I have to find you on the general chat. It won't do it in uh, private messaging. Oh, I've got you. I've got you. Alpha dog. There we go. I have to update my Discord. <clears throat> All right, I I don't know where we are here, guys. I don't know if we. Oh yeah, we've got it. Okay, we're cool. I have no memory of scooping that neutron star. <laughs> we just done it. Okay. So, no fuel here. Fuel in the next system and no fuel in the next one. Okay. I'll just do what it says. That's very nice of you to say, Mick. I appreciate that. Yeah. Very nice, Mick. And whatever the real life stuff was, man, I'm glad to have helped. Yeah, you know, I think that's, even though I don't have like the, by any means, the, not even anywhere remotely big, you know, as big an audience as a few elite dangerous players, if there are any left, um, I, I don't really have a massive audience in terms of, you know, compared to others, relatively speaking. But the one thing I've always been proud of is that I... <clears throat> I think I have, I've always had, through the nearly nine years I've been doing this, I've had an amazing crowd, all, always, all the way through. Yeah, and I wouldn't, I, I would rather have what I have now than have a hundred thousand subscribers with just a, <laughs> too many people to handle and it's, it gets too diluted. I'd rather have what I've got now, to be honest. So yeah, it, the, my the appreciation goes both ways. Commander Selim, hi. My brain's trying to think what it has to do next. And it is plug in the next jump. We don't have to, we don't do any route plotting here. It's just a case of targeting the next system. And out we go. And I don't think that we're going to need the AFMU until we get to where we're going. We'll do a repair there and then we'll do a repair back. <clears throat> have I got... No, I don't have time. 
<laughs> Freaky. Oh, I don't know if I posted the video. No, I haven't. Guys, I don't know if I don't know if the voice was real. Have you seen the new what can we call it? Robot? Robot? AI robot built by OpenAI, the people who've done ChatGPT. This thing is I mean, you guys might have heard of Boston Dynamics, right? That do that, the dog, the robotic dogs and stuff. This thing is next frickin' level. I, I'll have to post a video. I'll have to post a video on my Discord if I can find it. It is, I think that, oh, what's it called now? The robot. Oh. I think it begins with F. You seen it, Mick? Yeah, it, yeah. The the guy's got like it does dishes, dishes, and a, and one of those plates, one of those things where you put dishes in after the washing up, and there's an apple, and he says to the robot, "Give me something to eat or something," and he hands him the apple, and then he says, "Why, why did you give me the apple? Figure, that's it." He says, "Why did you give me the apple?" And he says, "Because I looked around me, and the apple was the only." edible thing here so I gave it to you and and then he said about you know put the dishes away and it put the dishes away and it was giving proper responses and the speech was it had like it stuck there was one time where the speech stuttered and it went but but because and then it went like uh and mm. I, it was it, it was amazing it is a little scary, but it's freaking incredible. Yeah. I wonder how much it costs. And it weighs like 70 kilos, which is much lighter than what I would have expected. Uh, good, I don't know where we're going. We're descanning. Right, we're in Rigo. 265 we are feeling here yes figure bigger AI obviously it's a demonstration that they were doing I don't know how complex it is but it's probably using like AI chat and stuff like that and it, it can it can look around and it can reason and stuff like that and he asked it to look and say what do you see around you and the robot said, you know, I can see dishes, I can see an apple, uh, some dishes are put away, and... Man. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And yeah, it's... Next, next step, Skynet. <laughs> -na 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 -na. Honestly, it's, it's Terminator. It's coming. Dun, 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 dun. We'll have a we'll have to have a load of Sarah Connors running around. Uh, right, next system is actually this one. High definition. There, that. I don't know, Kathy and I have. I don't remember what it is. Oh, is, is it the self-awareness thing? Is that what that is? I can't remember. I don't know. It knows it's there. <laughs> I'm sure it does. Hello, Zontar. I put an extra emphasis on the R there. Zontar. <laughs> In a world. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Do you know Linda Hamilton played a good Sarah Connor, but I also liked uh, what's her name? Was it Lena Dunham? Dun I don't know. The one from the Sarah Connor Chronicles. She was good as well. 
It's a shame they stopped that one because that female Terminator played by Summer Glau, she was brilliant in that role. Yeah, they should have kept that one going. They should have had a better storyline, to be fair. Take me to the bathroom. Come with me if you want to pee. <laughs> Adverts, yeah. Sorry, you guys will have to get um, ad blockers. That's the way around it. System scan complete, so nothing in here to uh, worry about. I think we're far enough out now where we can just maybe have a poke around and see if there's anything. So, where are we? We're here, so now we're jumping into the next two systems are fuel. So, yes, yes, no, yes, okay. Yeah, YouTube's going to force advertising regardless, it, and it's trying to beat the ad blockers, but it's a self-defeating, it's a self-defeating um, exercise. Uh, when YouTube started getting a bit more screwy with ads, when they started putting them on live streams and started pushing ads a bit more, um, it they also implemented systems that were that were bypassing apps like Adblock and Adblock Plus and Ublock Origin and stuff like that, right? I use Adblock on my on my laptop, I think, and I use Ublock Origin on my PC. And yeah, the adverts were getting through. But then it was a self-defeating exercise because all that happens is the people who make the ad blockers make better ad blockers. They they beef it up so that they defeat YouTube's newer stuff. And now we all we've ended up with is better ad blockers than we had before. So pointless. Fuel yeah it is, it's so people get premium, yeah. But premium's expensive man, it's like the price of a. Uh, Amazon Prime or something, isn't it? I'm not paying for premium. Ridiculous. Was it 8.99 or something like that? You block Origin is is good enough. It'll it'll block it'll block YouTube's ads. Um, biddly bum biddly bum 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 bum. What we're doing now? Descanning. Unless we've already done it. Nine. Let's take a look inside. So no, uh, well, it is atmospheric landable. Ah, no mapping on this. Okay, let's take a quick look at it. So we just put it in the middle of our screen here. And then we'll pop this in and it should be right there. Body seven. Neon it has a bio. Life. Okay. May host a It'll be bacteria though, right? Body I'm gonna seven. check. Meets mapping criteria. Body seven. Landable with atmosphere. Boop, 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 boop. Now it says it's a neon, a thin neon atmosphere. Yeah, bacteria. It's either gonna be bacterium aces at a million, S bacterium scopulum. At five million or bacterium tila at two million plus the footfall bonus. Now 
Oliver Hardy doesn't have footfall anywhere yet. So, shall we? Let's see where we are in, in the galactic tapestry of life. Out here, we just got to get to there. Not bad. Yeah, that's it's, that's the problem. It's not the the concept of ads. You know, it's life, isn't it? You get them everywhere. Um, but it, it's it's the frequency. It's too heavy. Like there's some web websites I go to. There's a particular website I go. Well, I don't really go to it. It's a Formula One news website, but it, it is as tabloid as tabloid gets. It's junk. It's absolute junk website so on my RSS feed which is all F1 news sometimes you don't know which website it's going to take you to so sometimes I go there and you've got the article in front of you whatever it might be about and then you've got ads that are popping up in front of you you've got one to the side and they're all animated so they, they distract your peripheral vision you know and it's even worse on the phone You've just got ads popping up and they've got these tiny little X's that you can barely click on a phone to get them off and uh, you can't see anything and, I, and it get, the page gets so full of adverts just violating your you know your ability to read and, and just your your space there I just I just leave the website I just leave it just go somewhere else I don't mind the occasional advert on a page, you know, but to s pop ups and put them in your face, like that's that's too that's too much, man. You know, it's it's like walking into a shop and all the salesmen come up to you and say, "You want to buy this? Do you want to get that? Do you want to buy this? You know, do you want to get one of these? Ah, uh, buy one of these. Come over here." But it's like, get out the hell of my face! I just want to walk around the shop. Oh. Right, well, anyway, so let's let's do a scan. Now, we do have a slightly wider probe radius on this. Um, it's not engineered to the full, I don't think, but it's engineered up to the end of grade three. So let's see, seven probes. I just want to see... You're not seeing what I'm seeing on screen, are you? No. It's telling me... Body still to map, 7. Right, 28%. It's not bad, so we'll, we'll stick one round the back. And we'll stick one up there. And let's see if we put one down here, if we can do a 7 probe planet with 4 probes. Or will it only take 3? If it does it in 3, that will be very good. Surface scanned by 50%. Come on, before the fourth one lands. Uh. Oh, it has landed and we're not there. All right, show me around the back. Oh, it's right on that corner. Okay, so I'm going to go right in there. That should be enough. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine your robot, you just say, um, would you mind fetching my slippers? Certainly, Mapping sir. Complete. Would you like to buy Mapping some... To map. Body 7. Whatever. May host a marked biological. <laughs> sir, you're sl you've had your slippers for over a year now. Maybe you'd be interested in... We would certainly get rid of the robot. Look at this map. What on earth going on? It's very dotty. Come on, pixels. 
re what's the word re reiterate no iterate iterate there you go yes come on you're too blocky I'll tell you what though it's been quite a few years now since I've had an email from a Nigerian prince wanting to give me hundreds of thousands of dollars as he's having <laughs> unbelievable that people fell for that and lost money I wonder why I remember phone jack I used to there's a TV series called phone jack a guy used to take the pay out of it yes sir I will need your bank account I will need your bank account details <laughs> Right, first, first footfall. A first, first. Word has got round that I don't have any money. <clears throat> well, it's not far from the truth, but it's not actually the truth. I did get, I did get a, a five pound donation on the stream today, so not strictly true. <laughs> Mind you, if Nigerian princes come around, thankfully I'm uh, I'm not that stupid to fall for them. And nor did I get the inches I was looking for. <laughs> Oh, I got I got one the other day. Um, <clears throat> it was a robot voice as well. Uh, I don't know why I keep answering the phone either. It was um, hello. This is D A. Not is it D H L? This is D H L. You have a parcel. Blah blah blah. And I just I know they can't hear me. There's nobody there. All they want is for you to pick up the phone and then let's confirm that somebody's. At that number, so that's why I got I got rid of my landline. So the yes, skin damage exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not poor anymore. Um, I'm not particularly after the bacteria because I don't think I landed near any. And now for the first time, come on, say it, yes, first time ever guys, that I'm going to get my name, there we go, mm -mm. we didn't land near any thingies, did we? I don't see no bacteria from here. Normally you best to scout for it in the ship. And I don't have any weapons with a scope on either. Oh. Well a part of Elite is free to play isn't it? The uh... I don't know, that game whatever it's called. CQC. I'm interested because if, if Bacterium Scopium is the one then it would be good to to scan that. Don't go too fast rusty boy. It might be hard to spot because of the colour. We might just be looking for texture.
Elite Dangerous now available on Grinder. Are we better with the lights? Ooh. Let's not wreck the ship too early in into the journey. I'm having trouble keeping the ship aloft with these vertical thrusters. They're not very powerful. Uh, gravity is 0.6, but it seems to be dragging me down quite a bit. Yeah, I'm not scouting anymore. I'm done here. I ain't playing this, this game's game. We're way too high at the moment. 600 meters is not going to cut it. Hello, how are you? I don't actually recognize it, but it is bacteria. Right, let's scan some backy. See what it is. Was I pointing at it when I landed? Yeah, it's over there. Bacterium Tila scanned. Tila. One million nine hundred and forty-nine thousand. Minimum sample distance. Yeah, one point nine five million. New codex entry. Bacterium Tila gold. And First it's five hundred meters before the next variation of the species comes out. Looks like scratches in the ground then, so it's just darker regions basically. That's what we're looking out for. Okay, so two more of those. No point doing it in the SRV, it's just it's, it takes too long. Can we squeeze through here? I think so. So we get uh, two more. And then we've got the 1.95 million plus the footfall bonus. Yeah, cool. I don't know what that would be. So we're looking for those dark squidgy bits. Now it should tell me when I get to the distance I need to be at. Well, one would have hoped anyway. Normally tells me when I'm 500 meters away. Distance reached. There we go. You've traveled over 500 meters from previous sample. Jesus, I thought we'd traveled way more than that. All right, don't get too close. You might catch something. Cheers, blog to what I'll check that out later. Yeah, if you guys take any good screenshots in Elite Dangerous, just stick them on our Discord. We've got a a channel for it, and yeah, you get we get some good ones. When Cosmic had the bug on the his stream, the ship bug, you you managed to get a good screenshot out of it, didn't you? Okay. Hello. 
Please wake up. Thank you. I've never not heard of it. And to misbehave, not heard of it. Yep. Right, one more sample, and then we are gone. D17. These jumps are not numbered though. Uh, so, dear Gwandry, does that doesn't count, does it? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, this is the the system we're in now is the fourteenth jump out of forty. So, almost halfway there. So first let's get the 500 distance. Oh, this thing wants to sink. I can... S okay. Never mind. Minimum distance reached. You've traveled over 500 meters from previous sample. Our third sample. Just need to get the wheels down and then scan it and we're out of here. In fact, let's put the wheels down the other side. As soon as I'm getting out of the arse of it. Lighting up the guardian beacons. What, you mean bringing the ball out thing? The silver ball? Or you mean the the key thing? I'm not sure. Hi Mick, that is Elite Observatory Core plus all of the plugins, which you have to download separately. Sample collection complete. So you have to do a Google search for Elite Observatory Core and a Google search for the plugins. All the plugins are on one page. Okay, we're good. Next jump, please. And it's a fuel stop jump as well. I also have Elite, Elite Dangerous Market Connector running as well with a couple of plugins such as ED Recon and stuff which is putting information on the screen that I've used. It puts information to a text file and then I'm using a, a plugin called SNAZ, S -S -N -A -Z, to read that text file and display it on the bottom of the screen and stuff like that. It's, I don't know, I've just got some weird freaking setup. I can't even remember it all. And then other stuff, other other stuff comes in the form of overlays, which you can then add via OBS as well. Oh, I only had two pips into engines. That might explain my lack of thrust. All right, get Basaki. I thought we'd done that already, but we didn't. Straight out jump. Oh, the key ones. Okay, another ones you mean? I haven't been to those for ages. Four, three, two, 
It's a good idea, it's a good thought. Something might happen. Maybe somebody's got some inside information and doesn't want to share it. <laughs> okay. So we are scooping here. System scan complete, so that's it. Just the, the star here. And if there's any other stars, they are going to be close by, but it doesn't look like it, does it? No. Ah, let's get, let's get fully scooped here. And while we're fully scooping, we jump. Get the next system plugged in. So the next system is E12, where we are instructed not to refuel. Again, it's not going to make any difference. Because, oh yeah, it will. It will make a difference. Because the next jump's slightly out of our range. And we can't fuel here anyway. But it's basically telling us that if, if this is a scoopable star, do not scoop. Because then you'll have... You'll put too much weight on the ship and it won't be able to do the next jump in the, in the flight plan, so to speak. The next waypoint. So no fuel on this one, and the next jump is 67.48, slightly out of our normal range. But this uh, galaxy plot is so cool that it, as I said before, it plots for the fact that we're losing mass based on the fact that we're losing fuel. Now we can jump 67.92. So this unladen must mean that's that's your jump range when you're out of fuel. Pointless. Because you can't jump then. Okay, so B103 and we are fueling here because then we've got... Oh, this next bit's going to be good. This is our last fueling stop for the next... It can only be four, surely. What? Oh, what? All right. Wait till you see what's coming up next. I don't know if we're going to be able to manage this. All right. Spanch, I am trusting the crap out of you here. Let's go. Right. So currently, we're jumping into B103, which is going to leave us 3,587 light years away from our target. When we come out of this next bit, we'll be 1,188, 1,884 away. So, first thing we need to do is scoop and we're gonna need a full tank for this so even if there's some nice planets to go and visit here I might not go because I'm gonna need to not lose any fuel and there's no atmospherics here so there's no bios little rotation going on there that one, all rotating. Okay, so next, am I not interested in the Titan stuff? Uh, yeah, I'm interested in watching it, don't I? But in doing it, not really. It looks cool and everything. I'd like to take part in one. Part of me would. But it's just too overwhelming, too stressful and too frustrating, I think. Anyway, so coming up next is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, 
nine, nine neutron jumps in a row without fueling. Nine. How are we going to do nine neutron? How can this ship do nine jumps without? Yeah. Yeah, it's not just seeing them as well. Obviously, it'd be nice to take part in one. But. I see people doing it and then there's things like instancing issues and bugs kicking in. And it's a stressful enough environment in the first place. The last thing you need is instant, instancing problems and bugs to, to, to be the icing on the cake, you know. And uh, I sense a disturbance in the force if I try that one. It's just going to be too much, too much frustration. All right, guys. Now, let's see. We're using up a little bit of fuel for this jump, but I want to see how much fuel, once supercharged, we're going to be using. How the hell are we going to do nine jumps without fueling? Nine. Jesus. Okay, Sponge. I'd like to say I trust you, but... Yeah, the good thing is you've got it on stream as well. So if you if you want to submit it to Frontier, just give them the video link. Uh, plus the timestamp, you know. Because you can you can do that, can't you? When you go to share video, you just put it on the timestamp that you want. Okay, well, let's see how much fuel is required for this next jump. Cosmic had the only uh, the only anaconda that was equipped with a parachute. Right, so we are in 59. Yes, we are. Next is 41. Yeah, Cosmic Drifter. Yeah, you guys know Cosmic's got a channel. For streaming oh we can do nine jumps look at the fuel yeah yeah go yeah cosmic live streams as well so get on over there and i think cosmic you you do post your streams on my on my channel right before you do them It's it's funny, cosmic, but it's also I would it's I would also find it frustrating as well, you know, because to get back to where you were, I mean, thankfully the, you restarted and everything was kind of yeah, but sometimes if you get a bug and you've got to go all the way back to the station again and start again, then you get hyperdicted, interdicted. Uh, it's just uh, too much. We're still in it. I can hear the sound. Warning. Freight shift drive operating beyond safety limits. Where's the light? I'm trying to follow the shadows. There. Warning. Freight shift drive operating beyond safety limits. To be honest, Keith, you know, I don't think a lot of guys go for that reason. not going to be a selling point. <laughs> hey guys. Right, okay. Where are we? 41. And we need to get to 35.
nine neutrons in a row is going to really progress the journey very quickly. Okay, let's level it up this way. I'm going with this one. Ah, one landable, one atmospheric. Nothing with both. Oh, didn't plot the next one. So after the nine, we get to a normal system and it's telling us to refuel. Yeah. No sugar. We'll be on fumes. Mr. Kiwi guy. Good eye. How are you doing, sir? Nice to see you. Okay. How you doing, Kiwi man? It's been a while. All going good? Oh, did we not get the thing? Did we? Yeah, you're right. We didn't get supercharged. The star probably would freaky, but thankfully we're only playing around inside the little jet streams. It's like sitting at the back of a car exhaust, only less poisonous. Ah, uh, Colonia, no, I'm not going that way. Colonia is northwest from the bubble, I'm going northeast. Why, I, man? We're, we're going up to the blue planet, the nebula lake, you know? Just jumping into Marge Simpson's hair here and trying to finish off the recharge. Supercharge, I mean. Come on. There we go. 
For the sake of a fraction of a second. Yeah. Oh, and now we've got to plot the freaking thing in again. So this is T69, so we'll get the next system programmed in to the copy buffer. If you think about when we're in the middle of this thing, this jet stream, to go to the galaxy map and plot the next route while, while we're supercharging. That's not risky at all, is it? But we can't, because I have to hold the ship in place. I'm going <laughs> to sneeze. Wow. Warning. 150,000 germs made homeless. We keep getting chucked out of the damn thing. Warning. French shift drive operating beyond safety limits. French shift drive supercharged. Yeah, I keep meaning to grab an iron brew. I've not had one for ages, but I never remember to look out for them. And therefore I don't know whether the shops have got them still. Um, I'm going to honk again. Oh, two of the uh, lava kind of worlds. I'm not surprised that they're like that. A neutron, no, a neutron stars are not hot are they? Aren't they cooler? Yeah, it, I think the advert used to say uh, brewed in Scotland from Gerdas. When I first heard it I thought Gerdas was the company that made it. Brewed in Scotland from Gerdas. Not that it was from like iron, meant to be iron. Gerdas. Brewed. Brood. It's a freaking soft drink. Oh, skinny tails. System scan complete. Um, it's to do with the accent, isn't it? Iron brew. So, we're in D68. And we're going to. We've only got. We've done six of the nine neutron stars. Three more to go now. After we make this next jump. Actually, we can put it in now, I believe. Okay, plot that one. Oh, God, come on. And let's. So I'm going for this one. So what's it called now? Iron Factory Made from Google. Is it not called Iron Brew now then? What? What's the name now? I remember when I when I went to the Lake District when I was a kid. Um, 
I don't know what I would, would have been, seven, eight, nine years old maybe. It was the first time ever that I had a Vimto and I, I, I couldn't get it where I lived. It was only available in the Lake District at the time. And it's a time when lemonade was delivered in bottle, uh, in, in like the truck used to come round and deliver the lemonades. <laughs> and all the bottles were like proper bottles, like, you know, made of glass and stuff. Wasn't it always BRU? Oh, okay, I thought it was. Mr. Budman has switched from his shadow self to his real self. Or oh, the other way around. <laughs> Isn't brewing though just like a concoction? I mean, you, you brew tea. I don't know. Do you fancy a brew? <gasps> you can't say that. You've got to say brew. Yo, bruh. <laughs> Getting an iron brew in London. Hey, bruh. You fancy a brew, bruh? <laughs> yes, blood. Lemonade, wow, cool. Yeah, the lemonade we used to get, in at least where I lived, was Lowcox. I think it was invented by a very short guy. For those. Right. Oh, I should say, <laughs> invented by two brothers who were about four foot tall. I don't know, there's a joke in there somewhere, but yeah. Freaky. It took me a second to get that one, but yes, I like it. <laughs> yeah, lemonade. There's two kinds of lemonade, though. You've got the clear, fizzy stuff, and of course, you've got the yellow, cloudy, traditional, I would say. I, I like both. I don't mind. I prefer the traditional. I think we need to get into, like, not get so close to the edge, the end of it, because we are skipping out of here so quick. Yeah, Tizer. And Lilt? Is Lilt still going? I used to like that. Lilt, with the totally tropical taste. Oh, yeah. Taste of pineapple and grapefruit too. Mix together to refresh you. Lilt with the totally tropical taste. Anyway, in <laughs> old adverts that we remember. So the adverts obviously worked because they've made me remember something that I've, I haven't heard for like 35, 40 years. Mm. Way down deep in the middle of the Congo. A parrot got an apple and an orange and a mango. He put what was it? He put them all together and he danced a little tango. The rest are called the sunny funny one they call him Bongo. Isn't it something like that? I don't know. <laughs> it's 
747 sounded like a World War II propeller plane. <laughs> Yeah, there was a lot of sugar. A Pepsi Max, I'll take. That's what I. That's what I drink if I'm going to have a soft drink. Pepsi Max. Let's see, lip smack and thirst quench and cool fizz and um. I don't know. I did it on the stream a few, a few months ago. The whole lip smack and thirst quench and cool fizz and sweet taste and whatever it was. No, don't know. Tango Tony, no. Right. This is the last one. And then we fuel after this. So, we're going to get right into the scoopy thing right here. And then we won't fly out the end. Hey, Frankie Jazz, 24 7. Morning. French shift drive operating beyond safety. Oh yeah, you know when you've been tangoed. Yeah, I remember the tango guy. Is that what his name was? Tango Tony? Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. He used to go around. It was a silly advert, though. You know been tangoed. Right, so we are definitely... Yeah, I, I remember. I didn't know that was his name, though, but yeah, I know what you mean now. Um, right, no prizes for guessing that we're fueling in this system. I'm just going to descan here. System scan complete. Yeah, you're not leaving me on a lot of fuel here, but we are scoopable on the next one. So yeah, Spanch got it right. Nine neutron jumps in a row and now now when we get when we do this jump now into c170 we will be 1800 away so we'll have covered 2000 light years in fact 2000 jesus hold on hold on a minute 2700 light years in those in those neutron jumps not bad Do another honk for the sake of it. Okay. 30, eh? And we do have plenty of those landable atmospherics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, cosmic. I was into madness back then. Cardiac arrest. <laughs> Got to get the first bus. Da -na 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 -na. Ten more minutes and he gets there. The crossword's nearly done. Warning. Temperature critical. Naughty boys in nasty schools, headmasters breaking all the rules. Having fun and playing fools, smashing up the woodwork fools. Are we? Oh, we've come out all together. Do, 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 do. Fuels. We can do some FSSing here, I suppose. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen jumps, and we're there. 
Yeah, I, I played com the album Complete Madness so many times, man. So many times over. One Step Beyond, yeah. Da -da 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 -da. I know all the songs, man. You're an embarrassment. My favourite one is it, um, it Must Be Love. It's brilliant. Great Days and Cardiac Arrest and Return to Lost Palmas 7. Oh, man. All good stuff. Right, let's get the star out of the way. He's got to hurry. Okay, what do we have here? Ammonia World. Welcome to... Do you love Domestus? Welcome to Ammonia World. Yep. If you don't smash the like button, Body A2. we kill a kitten. Carbon dioxide atmospheric landable with life. Just kidding. Body A2. May host a marked biological. Body A2. Meets mapping criteria. Body A2. Landable with atmosphere. Do 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 do. What was that answering machine message? Remember, did you did you ever hear that one where with the, it was a uh, going around on the internet? I think, and it was something like um, the, a guy a guy would answer the answering machine or be the answering machine message, and he'd have a cat, um, and you'd just hear it going meow in the background every now and again as he's talking. He says, um, "Don't forget to leave a message. If you don't leave a message, little kitty here gets it." <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever heard that one. Oh, go back. I'll scan everything and then I'll have a look in uh, core, observatory core, to look for bios afterwards. Do 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 do. But I'm only concerned with high value at the moment. I don't want to waste time with, you know, cheap. <laughs> oh, not cheap, what's the word? Less value uh, bacteria and stuff like that. I want the, I'm after the heavy stuff. Where are we going? Where have you got me going here? Come on. Talk to me, man. New codex entry. Ammonia world. Body A3. Meets mapping criteria. We should map that, body shouldn't A3. we? High value body. We should map an ammonia world. Body A3A. -A. Carbon dioxide. Oh Jesus. Atmosphere. Four bios on this thing. Body A3A. -A. May host a marked biological. Body A3A. -A. Meets mapping criteria. Body A3A. -A. Oh shush. Atmosphere. All premium boost materials and system. We've got a planet here, right? Uh, planet two. It's got one biological signature and two possibilities of which one it's going to be. Take a freaking guess. Bacteria or stratum tectonicus. <sighs> one time, there was one time I had that choice and it was in fact stratum that came out instead of the bacteria so it can happen i i have pulled that handle in the fruit machine in that galactic casino it's happened before but i don't think it's ever happened since then What's a cat's favourite button on a video recorder? Pause. Body B10C. Methane atmospheric landable with life. Same. Body B10C. 
may host a marked biological body uh, two or three two meets mapping criteria body b10c landable with atmosphere body b10d methane There's atmosphere plenty of bios here body b10d may host a marked biological body b10d meets mapping criteria body b10d landable with atmosphere body b10e methane atmospheric landable with life body b10e she's not gonna shut up here marked biological body b10e meets mapping criteria body b10e landable with atmosphere all surface materials in system body b10f methane atmospheric landable with life body b10f may host a marked biological body b10f meets mapping criteria body b10f oh god landable with atmosphere body b10b methane atmospheric landable with life body b10b may host a marked biological body b10b meets mapping criteria body b10b landable with atmosphere body b10a methane atmospheric landable with life body b10a may host a marked biological body b10a meets mapping criteria body b10a landable with atmosphere that's it we're done right what do we have complete first body to map is a2 a2 yeah but i'm not going to map i'm not going to go to all of them dear so stratum executius or execute execute executitus mm, executitus i don't know right there's nothing hugely massively big hugely massive thing in here but there's a planet here with four bios and we've been given one two three four five six seven eight nine possible genuses and in that nine there's 11 species so yeah a lot of bios have come up here but i don't think we're going to be doing anything with them i'm going to take a look at a2 just in case it is tectonicus but the only thing i want to have a look at is are these foot fallen planets here no no they are not so should we have stratum on here which is unlikely but if it's there that's 76 million yeah it's right here if it was one of the further out planets i wouldn't bother so does it tell me how much i can make in the entire system see there's planet 3a Worst case scenario, I make 7 million, 7.4. Best case scenario, which it's rarely ever going to be the case, 26.4 million. And that's without the bonus. Uh, I'm just looking down. Now, they're all like a million and something. Ponticulia digitus and bacterium this and tubus. Tubus compagibus. Compagibus. You have been summoned to stroke me lovingly. That's a line I've used. As a ventriloquist. See, we can do three on a six pro planet with only a half engineered probe thing. 
probe radius. I don't think so. It's going to have to be four. Oh! Oh my god! We did get it! And it is bacteria. Of course it is. May host a marked biological. So no stratum here. Bacterium orasus it will be. Yes, Duchess, it was done on the previous stream. We did a previous stream. I had to take it offline for a little while though to edit it. And now it's back online. Uh, we're off to the blue planetary nebula. We're about 14 jumps out. And even though we've just picked up a load of bios, plants with bios here, it would only be worth it if I sit and did all of them. And I'm not going to do that. So, we're out of here. And my next jump is... Uh, so where are we? We're in C-17-0. So we want to be... There. It's basically a jump and scoop exercise, but maybe on the way back. Unless something really interesting pops up, in which case I'll, I'll pop down on the planet. By interesting, I mean either lucrative, rank and money-wise, credit-wise, or, 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 I don't know, undiscovered. I don't think we're going to come across any undiscovered places. Kremlock, I'll catch you later, man. Have a good one. Enjoy the flight. Um, yeah, so it's going to have to be something to make me land. Otherwise, I'll, I'll probably do most of the exploring on the way back, I think. Now, what do we have here? System scan complete. System scan complete. I'll be... Not in the tip of the ice cream cone, but somewhere here. Warning. Fred shift drive operating beyond safety limits. Fred shift drive supercharged. Right. Uh, what, what did we get? Did we get anything? Was that it? Okay, I'm de-scanning anyway. So we're in 9-4, going to Sophia D-1019. We'll take a look at where we are now. So we're just about to pop here, and we are nearly into the next sector. So. I think the place we're going to is somewhere up in this corner, just here. Whether I'll find it. I accidentally stumbled across it, really. That's the Statue of Liberty. Because it only takes up one system. It's one system wide kind of thing, you know. Uh, it's this thing, one of these. That's where we're going. One thousand eight hundred light years away. But we have some neutrons to go yet. Uh, this next system, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven neutrons in a row now. And then we'll only be 450 light years away from it. So, let's get through them. First neutron star of the seven coming up now. So there's only one solar system inside this nebula, and I'm hoping that there's going to be, well, a landable would be nice, 
An atmospheric landable would be a bonus. I hope we get at least one of them. One of those choices. Actually telling me the value of the system. Peanuts to bio bioscanning. We're not gonna get this, are we? Is he looking at text? Okay. So we're in ten nineteen. We're going to jump to the second of the seven. Ah, neutrons. Not so much a neutron highway as a neutron avenue. Sifia. To feel a run. Yeah, we'll definitely get there <coughs> on this stream, no problem. But maybe take more of a leisurely pace on the way back. Getting through the systems. Getting some good jump ranges on this as well. 256 light years on this jump. Almost. Yeah, 256. It's actually not though. It's 255.8. The frontier rounds it up. Fair enough. binary relative to body size okay so we have a fast orbit of B and C we'll check that out in a second okay so first thing then we'll pop into the map here and we'll take a look. So these two are orbiting each other at a little bit of a rate apparently. Did I actually descan this? Okay. Or if I didn't they were all scanned. So again if we go here and nope. Let's go here. We're gonna choose or already we want to be focusing over here don't we so did what was it saying close orbit or fast orbit fast wasn't it I'm just checking checking fast orbit 6.6 .6 hours is the orbit Close binary relative to body size. Yep. 
they're orbiting around each other, right? Six hours. Yeah. Cool. Nothing for us to see, though. Unless you want to sit there for six hours and put the video on a time... record it and put the video on a time-lapse. <laughs> it would work. You'd get some... you'd get a nice view, but... Nah. Not for me, not my cup of tea. Right, so this is D1413, which means after this jump, we've got two more, two more neutrons, which will put us I don't know, close. Two more neutrons, then no neutron, yes neutron, no, 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 and then we're there. Ugh. So, yeah, we're getting close. This is a very close jet streamer here. I'm not moving. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, don't want this map at the moment, although it is showing me a landable. Okay, so we've got everything done here, so there's no bonus on there. However, let me just point towards it. one of these body before that's the one carbon dioxide atmospheric landable with life four of them before may host a marked biological it may body before. let's have a look meets mapping criteria body before oh you bugger landable with atmosphere all right you win we have to go there are four items on by four bios but it's given us a, a possible list of one, two, three, seven. One of those seven is indeed Stratum Tectonicus. Another one is Alioida Arcus, which is worth 7.2 million. Um, but because there's no bonus, there's no first footfall, I would, I would only uh, chase down the Stratum if it's here. But we'll go check it out. No Stratum, no landing. Tubus Sorori Bus is also here, 5.7 million. If I was to scan everything on this planet, and it was like if the if out of the seven choices, if we got the four best ones, we would net 35.2 million. If we got the worst choices, we'd net 8 million. So hopefully we'll be somewhere in between those. There's an, there is a certain degree of excitement doing the Titans. I, I can see that. You know, there's frustration as well, but it's it's totally different gameplay to the usual run of the metal elite stuff, which is kind of nice. And the graphics are good. The sounds are great. It's very atmospheric. Seventeenth of March, thirty-one. So, oh, two weeks. 
It's the 1st of April in two weeks. Exactly. See, I don't know what's going on over at Kunos Simulazioni, but um, on a different topic, or the Nordschleifer truck is coming out for a set of course of competizioni on April the 1st. People thinking it's an April Fool, but it won't be because you don't announce it <laughs> on the day. It's too freaking obvious. I will be streaming that on this channel. Guaranteed. There's something I want to try with it. Because it's coming into ACC, I want to do nighttime in the rain with a rear engined rear wheel drive Porsche. Just up the stakes a little. I've seen a rain shot as well, a, a, a wet track shot, screenshot. And it just looks tremendous. It looks amazing. Yeah, the most dangerous racetrack on the planet. At night, in the rain. I don't think there's any night lighting around the track. So, if there isn't any in real life, there won't be any in the game. So, hehehehe. <laughs> can't wait. It's not even supposed to be in the game really because it's not part of the official series. But it's kind of a send-off update that we're getting as they work on the next sim. So what's the chance of... Alexa, shut up! Right, she's getting unplugged. And in the bin. That was the sound of my Alexa going in the bin, by the way. <clears throat> Okie doke, let's see what we have. Stratum or no stratum, that is the question. And also, can we get away with just two probes? Surface scanned by 50 oh yeah, we can. Mapping complete. Surface no okay, bacteria, that was a given. Body B4. May host a marked biological Ooh, and has high biological Stratum's here, guys. Right, there's 25 million available here. 24.9, if we were to go for it. But, I only want the stratum. Taxa is the tussock. Yeah. If it was first footfall, that would be different. But unfortunately, it's not. Somebody's been here. So, oops, did I do the right one? I did. So let's go down and just quickly grab three tectonicas and we'll be out of here. I like ground missions for sniping, stealthy sniping. 
love it. Taking out the scavengers at a base. Love it, love it, love it. It's brilliant. Right up my alley. So, hopefully, as usual, the stratum will be easy to spot. They tend to be. And if we find a good batch, we should be able to just use the SRV to get to and fro from it. 500 meters distance on those. So yeah, we've got... The other things available are Frutexa Metallicum at 1.6 million and Tussock Albata at 3.2 million. Bacteria, yeah, bacteria is a million. Right, so let's settle down on this smooth bit here. Gravity 0 0.1. Right, space cucumbers, where are you? You're right there, aren't you? And there's another batch in front of me. In fact, there's two plantages here. Is that tussock, the other one? Don't know. Take the SRV. If this is Tussock, guys, this gives us another 3.2 million, but it's not the money I'm after for this one, really. It's more the. It's more the um, exobiology ranking. Can I change here? I guess not. Something ain't right here. In fact, let's put that there as well. It is. This is worth 3.2 million and it seems to be abundant as well. Minimum sample distance 200 meters. 200. We could scan that actually before we do the stratum because there's another one in front of the ship. Let's do the stratum first anyway. So the one we want is, is in front of the ship but there's one back here so I'm going to try and do two scans here. Stratum tectonicus scanned. Base value 19,010,800. Minimum sample distance 500 meters. First partial sample collected. The sounds seem different. I don't know if it's me. But...
Hmm. I'm getting conflicting information on the screen here. You guys can't see it. But Minimum distance reached. There you go. You've traveled over 500 meters from previous sample. Second partial sample collected. Now we're over the over the limit, over the range. Minimum distance reached. You've traveled over 500 meters from previous sample. What are you guys all talking about? Hair? Huh? Sample collection complete. Partial sample collected. Minimum distance reached. You've traveled over 200 meters from previous sample. Second partial sample collected.
traveled over 200 meters from previous sample. Sample collection complete. Mike is fine, Mick. New codex entry. Neutron star. New codex entry. M type star. Right, so we've moved into the next sector at least.
Da. New codex entry. I see body. New codex entry. I see body. No atmosphere. Body B8. Neon atmospheric landable. Body B8. Meets mapping criteria. Body B8. Landable with atmosphere. Body B5. Neon rich atmospheric landable. Body B5. Meets mapping criteria. Body B5. Landable with atmosphere. New codex entry. High metal content body. Body B4. Argon rich atmospheric landable. Body B4. Meets mapping criteria. Body B4. Landable with atmosphere. Okay, so two planets there with mapping criteria, meaning they are terraformable. System scan complete. No bios. I don't know which ones are terraformable. System discovery complete. First body to map is B5. B5. This one. That one has to be terraformable. you find it he's asking me to do five but I'm not going to because it's too far away so Next system. Current system file and D zero. Right, we're almost there. In fact, on the galactic map, we are here. Nice. I wonder how many standard jumps it would be. Hold on. Okay, we're feeling in this next system. The next one is not, and we've got one more neutron in the next five jumps. And that's it. Type star. New codex entry. T type star. Also the main star in the in the nebula that we're visiting 
is a wolf rayet star as well. Temperature falls up here. Really? Warning. Temperature critical. Right, jumping into D17, which is a neutron, and then it's one, two, three, four normal jumps after this one. And that's it. Destination reached. And let's see if Palin has been unlocked by then. That's enough fuel for me. And once again, it didn't take. Oh, actually it has taken, so why isn't it on my compass? Doesn't matter, doing it again. Type star. Warning. French shift drive operating beyond safety limits. French shift drive supercharged. And that's it. So I might just plot. I'll do one more jump and then I'll just plot the rest myself. I have to do this one via sponge because it's the optimum jump for where we want to go. <clears throat> and I wonder when the nebula will become visible. Maybe the jump before. <clears throat> C ten two, so it's there, so there should be three jumps.
Right, let's see if doing it this way also nets us three jumps. Yep. About to jump into the blue planetary sector now. That's it. I do not need Spanch anymore. Let's go. So that's taken just under, mind you I did have to stop off for an AFMU, but putting that into account, I don't know, 2 hours 45, including the plant scanning. So without that, just over 2 hours, two, 2 and a quarter hours probably. Everything will be discovered here though. Footfall? Don't know. Let's have a look. Mm, no footfall. Okay. Might as well FSS the place. I've never heard of that one, Duchess. Does Robin's egg go in Robin's nest? 1970s TV series. Don't know if you know it. I'll have a look. Where about is it though? Robin's Egg Nebula. That's a new one on me. <laughs> new Codex Entry. Gas Giant with Water Life. Oh, what a life. Body A2E. Argon atmospheric landable with life. Body A2E. May host a marked biological. Body A2E. Meets mapping criteria. Body A2E. Landable with atmosphere. Yeah, we should be probing all of those ones that are m matching the mapping criteria. Better money. I haven't done much on the journey out here to increase any rank. Really, not much. Body A2F. Argon atmospheric landable with life. Body A2F. May host a marked biological. 
Body A2F Meets mapping criteria Body A2F Landable with atmosphere New codex entry Sidarsky class 1 gas giant Body A1D Argon atmospheric landable with life Body A1D May host a marked biological Body A1D Meets mapping criteria Body A1D Landable with atmosphere System scan complete Couple of geos there Right, what do we have on the bio? Eh. Oh wow. System discovery complete. Yeah, no. First body to map is A1D. We're gonna skip them. Three planets have all got one signature. Okay. Only one bio on each one. And on all three we have the same possible three. Bacterium vesicular, it's going to be that one. Electrice radialum, which is 6.2 million, that would be nice, with the first footfall. And Fonticulia campestris. There's no way Electrice is going to exist on there. D1E1, no, sorry, A1D, A2E, and A2F. Palin? Oh, flipping hell. Why are they telling everybody about these? Let it go, critical. Let it go, boom. Okay. Okay. Um, bum, 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 bum. One D. So this one. And then two, these two. So yeah, distance. Let's go here first. It's going to be three bacteria. If if the electricity is there, then great. We'll we'll pop down because it'll be worth it with the footfall. <laughs> I already saw the uh, Tyrannus blow up, so this is going to be exactly the same. Oh. Yep. It'd be like watching a repeat. Of course, we could switch into the Rusty account and go check it out, but no. Maybe next time. Like two jumps away from my destination, so. Staying there. Staying on this. Assuming they have a really good reason for calling the blue planetary nebula. Right, I am expecting bacteria vesicula on all three. If not, Monteculio will be the, the other one. It'll be nice to have electricity on one of them, but wishful thinking.
Surface scanned by 50%. Mapping complete. Surface scanned. Next Bacteria. body map is A2F. Body A1D. May host a marked biological. A2F and A1E. Oh, you want me to do F first? It must be closer. It is. Right, that's one bacteria uh, no noted. And we're going to get two more. 2F and 2E. Yeah. Hopefully he will be next door. Yes. Do it in one. Surface scanned by fifty per cent. Not quite. Mapping complete. Surface scan. Next body. Oh, bacteria. Surprise, surprise. May host a marked biological. It's just me keeping my, uh, just entertaining myself. Yeah, I nearly bashed into it there, Simon. Wonder. Doesn't help when you've got your monitor set darker than it should. Well, than people would normally have it. It's not very, not very blue planetary so far. 
Oh, what? let's just kill the throttle a second. Hey, is it? Are we calling it that? Or are we calling it NCC? Whatever the hell it was. Oh. N NCC. Star Trek coming out of me. NGC. Oh, egg. Six thousand. Um, yeah, where's the nebula? Um, right, we know that one of the start systems in Elite Dangerous is Dromi, and we need to be five thousand away, so yep. Five thousand is the requirement. Yeah, it's yeah, planetary nebula. So, like this one. But at least on this one we can see the nebula as well in the galaxy map. Right. Smart money's on bacteria then. Mapping complete. Surface no more bodies to map. Body A to E. Let's get Universal out of here. Biological. The uh... so four eight eight five was it? Okay, two more jumps to go. I don't know, Cosmic. I, I don't think it gives you a running update. We'll just have to hit the 5,000 and then get the message. If we don't, and I'm convinced we're over 5,000, I'll have to reinstance or restart or whatever is required for Palin to wake up. Neil, hi Neil. Welcome to the stream. it there's the nebula let's turn off yeah let's have a look out here screenshot there I think okay let's jump in wolf rayet star new codex entry wait a minute did I do this place? I did look, didn't I? 
Yeah, that was okay. Right, now we go. <laughs> we just wanted to be double sure. I wasn't going to miss anything. Right, it's what's in here. How many bodies can we land? Is there a, is there an atmospheric? You can probably imagine. W type star. We are not scooping off this thing. But that's a wolf riot. So I guess that's the colour of the ship. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly grab a screenshot. Get all the way up there. There we go. Okay, the big one. Shoot, that's all that's in here. Damn. What a shame. So it's almost seven times larger than the sun. And it weighs almost nearly half as much. Not quite. And we have on the left hand side there, you can see the flare, the solar flare, I guess. That'd be a nice view, wouldn't it? If we can get hang with it. But, 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 I don't believe we are far enough away. Oh, at least we haven't got the message yet. Let's see. So, Dromi is one of... The, no, we're not quite there. E -e 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 -e. Um, we've got to make sure that we're 5,000 away from all Elite Dangerous Start systems. Um, so, hold on. So, we have... The other one is Acellus Primus. Oh God, how many arses and... Okay, so it's one. That, okay, so we've done Acellus Primus. The other one is LHS. Three, four, four, seven. We've done that one. So the only thing, the only st start system that we're not enough away from is Dromi. And so we're going to plot that and zoom. All right, so all I have to do is just a jump, a jump away in in this direction, even a bit out. So anything that stretches our jump range is good. That's 50, which will be enough, really. That's too far. 
67.9. I don't, mm, not going to quite make that one, are we? Let's go here. We'll have to revisit this back again, but at least we're in here. It's a shame there was no planets in here, but there you go. far we'd have to get away from the star for the galaxy to brighten up. It already is getting brighter. Four, three, two, one. Ooh. No. Is that? No, that'll be the stupid Titan message, I guess. scan first if I don't forget it does look cool yeah it's nice I don't mind these but they're nice if you can get a planet to land on and then you look up in the sky on foot you know and you look up and you see the uh, the nebula looks kind of cool these haven't been foot fallen okay so we'll take a quick look here at draw me and make sure that it's over 5,000 away Okay, so we are, we have been 5,000 away from all three possible start systems. That should satisfy Professor Palin. So, where are you? Okay, so he hasn't got, got it yet. Okay, fine. They tend not to wake up too well. So first we'll just do a main menu reinstance and see where we are then. And if that doesn't work, it's fully out of the game and back in again. And see if that works. And we have a black screen of competence everybody's online melting the servers because a titan's blowing up do you know what the best name for a titan would be wet yeah, I said it. Right. Task end. Oh, no, okay. Saved yourself. Yes, baby. There it is. Invitation from Professor Palin. And Chloe's down at the Witch Head. Hmm. I wonder how far Witch Head was away, because I don't have her unlocked on the Rusty account either. Titan stopping my blood supply. There we go. So we got it. We've done it. It's what, it's what we came here for. We've got Palin unlocked. And now we can go get to work on thrusting at him. Grade 5. Chloe does. Oh, she does engines and thrusters too. And she wants 25 cents of fragments. Yeah, Palin still wants something else, doesn't he? 25 cents of fragments. So we'll have to grab those. He's not 5,000 light years away though. Nearly.
Yeah, Neil, you just came up with the one I was going to do. It just requires some different pronunciation. Anyway, um, cool. We got what we want. What's that over there? We've got some stars. I've seen those last time we were around this area. That group. Very bright stars. I don't think I was even able to trace them on the map here. Now then, if we go here. Let's block out everything except non sequence. No sequins. Oh, go, go back. That's the nebula. It'd be easier to look for writing like that going by than it will to look for a dot. That's the nebula. I don't know if I'm chasing dust on the monitor or what. Um. There's not even any neutrons in the region. Don't know how far I can zoom out before it becomes irrelevant. <laughs> we can't we won't be able to see it. Be nice to get a black hole somewhere. Okay, we're not gonna get it, are we? So forget it. The real map shows us black holes as well, but you've got to look out for, um, you've got to literally look out for black, black circles. And if there's any around, they, they are quite easy to spot. But I don't think there is any. So. I wonder if there's any carbon stars in the area. Unlikely there they are a rarity. Kinda like the wolf rats in a way. Jesus, how far out did I go? All right. So let's go back, take a look at the old neb, see how bright it gets, and then we're done. That's everything. Oh, okay. So we can feel all this, right? Scooby. All right. 
back into the Wolf Rate Nebula. This thing brightens up a little. There she goes. It's a tad. So <laughs> that's what this is what it looks like on the inside. And that's what it looks like on the outside. I suppose it's a fair representation. Well, it's me, but it just looks darker here than in the cockpit. Some of the lighting is very weird in the game. Take a little photo of that. Get some tourist shots. So we'll drop this, drop it out into normal space. Ah, oh, good on you, man, Mick. Yeah, yeah. Do a, have a little exploration trip, man. It's good. So what I want to do here is just twist this around till maybe we get a better light situation. Maybe that. Back out. Just want to get more light onto the ship's body. Is that meant to be dark? It's just shadow, it's weird. Right, so if we just push it on the throttle a little bit. Oh. in a little bit. Hello? Come back. This is tricky. Oh! See the lighting just suddenly change? Why? Oh, get your ass down. Now, slide over. I'm back. Stop. Forward. Cool. There we go. That gives us a nice screenshot. Yeah, so we made it. 9,000 light years. Didn't take long, and I'm hoping that the trip back's going to be just the same 40 jumps. So we are there. That's it. We made it. We're in the outer Orion Spur. And. Um, 
first time Oliver Hardy's done any of this stuff. So if we were to come back to Dear Gwandry without Spanch, I'm not saying we are. I'm just checking out. 79. Oh, 70. That's not bad. That's including neutrons and stuff when Elite Dangerous's plotter picks one up. Not as efficient as Spanch. But 70 jumps to get back, it's 30 more than what we took to get out here. It's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. But I think what I would do before setting off back is either go up or down. So maybe come down all the way down here. Outside of the blue planetary sector. Something like here. Four jumps down and then go back. And then we'll start, if you want to look at it as up and down, we'll start increasing our altitude as we go. That makes any sense. Can't find any grey dots at all. That's a G star. Yeah, black holes and cool stuff. Don't know. How do we get rid of this? On some dialogues that pop up, you can just click on the map here. Oh. Right. You can, okay, so it works if you click in the middle of the map. It doesn't work if you click over here. I understood. Oh, Frontier, you do make some weird decisions. If you're a Volvo owner, Col 240 sector might be more to your liking. Uh, who are you? G white yellow. Be nice to get a red giant or something like that, something big. But yeah, I think on the way back, we'll go down, go down the galactic plane first. Wow. Jesus, there's a lot here. A lot. That one. How many jumps to there? Eight? Thirteen. Thirteen jumps down, and that's including a, a super hyper. Now where's that coming from? That's a big jump. Coming from this guy, Neutron Star. Possible black hole in there? Nah. Okay. Oh, okay. I couldn't see the 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 grey disc. All right. Well, you reckon that's it, I reckon? Yeah, it's a pity we can't just find a quick way back. No carrier in here either. <laughs> Yeah, no carrier. So we're just heading down a little bit now, so we can get a, a bit off the beaten track, so to speak, and then we can maybe, maybe, find some undiscovered stuff. Maybe. If we get lucky. And we probably will. I don't think one jump's going to cover it. Not quite. Let's take a look at that though. So we'll just plop a target on it. 
and while it was scooping, we can just point to it. Oh, how did I get into this mode? Okay. Body three. Carbon dioxide. Okay, it does have a biological. Body three. Nothing major. Biological. Body three. Meets mapping criteria. So Body if we three. landable with atmosphere. So bacteria, concha, tussock. One million, two point three million, three point two million. Maximum possible. Five point five. One of those is not gonna be there. Minimum 3.3 .3 plus the bonus. What are we looking at there? 10, 12 million maybe. Nah. Almost tempted, but not there yet. Next jump. If I learn something today, it's four, three, two. I don't know. <laughs> if I learn something today, it's bring more water to the streams. Because I'm thirsty. I learn. Uh, okay, let's let's honk it. Honk the I learn system. Okay. It's already discovered, and there's no atmospherics. Push on. get into a system that Spanch doesn't recognize because then plotting the route back is going to be problematic. Fuel you sit there and scoop a little bit. Finally, undiscovered system. Yeah baby. Only took like three or four jumps down. And there's 15, so there's 14 more bodies to go. Right, let's see what we have in the first undiscovered. Put the planet to the bottom there. Shrink, shrink, shrink. It's the sun, not the planet, but where? Stop shrinking, count to three, back off the throttle. Let's go. Right, nothing special here then. No earth likes, no nothing like that. But it may host a marked biological. New codex entry. Gas giant with ammonia life. Ammonia. Isn't that the song that... Uh, what was that green duck, Orville? No. Was it Orville he used to sing it? No. Well, the song was Ammonia, Poor Little Sparrow. And yeah, I knew it was Ammonia or something. Ammonia, Ammonia YouTube streamer. Okay. Uh, 
Washing, they're all washing powder planets, guys. Non bio. Isn't Keith Richards the. Uh, that. I can't remember the band, anyway. Keith Harris, I think it is. Yeah. Right. Keith Richards and Orville would be quite an act. I can tell you. That would be quite something to watch that. People would pay to see that, I know. Body 3D. Argon atmospheric landable with life. Body 3D. May host a marked biological. Body 3D. Meets mapping criteria. Yep. Body 3D. Crappy ones. Landable with atmosphere. Um, Bacterium basicula fonticula campestris. They like to exist together, those two. Ooh, talk to me. 3C. Oh, it's not coming up here. We've got a lag. You're telling me two bios, it hasn't come up. There we go. Argon atmospheric landable with life. Body three. Nah, it's all the same stuff. Biological. All the same. Body three B. She's gonna yap a Meets bit now. Criteria. Body three B. Landable with atmosphere. Yeah, they're all the same. Body three C. Argon atmospheric landable with life. Body three C. No imagination, Frontier. Biological. Body three C. Meets mapping criteria. Body three C. Landable with atmosphere. Body three E. Argon atmospheric landable with life. Body 3E. May host Please. a marked biological. Body 3E. Meets mapping criteria. Body 3E. Landable with atmosphere. System right. Discovery complete. Oh, f shut First up. First body to map is 3D. 3D, okay. So, the... All four planets that have got bios have got the same bios. Uh, vesicular and Campestris. And... That combination, um, that combination crops up more than I'd like. But there are a couple of planets in here which are valuable in terms of being terraformable, I think. So, did she say 3D? 3D, three-dimensional, let's go. Just to map it. One, two, three, A, B, C, D. So, it doesn't actually say what does it, whether it's terraformable. I think you have to probe it and then it tells you it's terraformable. It's not, unfortunately, the other way around where it tells you first and then you know it's good to go and probe. Probably going to end up on one of these planets to pitch my tent. So they've all got, yeah, they do, it does have the uh, bios on here, but I, I, I'm gonna, I mean, let me see, what, what do we get? Plus the bonus. I don't know, we could, we could make like four, is it 12, 14 million? Nine million? I don't know. 
one million plus whatever the fir first footfall bonus is, but I don't know what that is. It might be nine, in which case you'll get 18 million per planet. So on that basis, 72 million. That's a decent haul of ch change. So she wants me to map 3D, so then 3 B, C and E as well. Mapping complete. Next body to map is 3B. Body 3D. May host a marked biological. Oh, this has just got the... Ah, no. So, okay. Two out of the four... Right, the four planets with bios. Two of them have got two bios on them, which will be b bacteria, vesicular, ponticula, campestris. The other two have only got one, which will either be bacteria, vesicular, or ponticula, campestris. It's going to be bacteria. So, yeah. Bacteria, bacteria. Bacteria, ponticula, bacteria, ponticula. That's how it's going to be. And this one's only got the one. Damn it. Okay. So I guess anywhere here. Orbital flight engaged. So B, C and E need to be probed. Gino, hi Gino. Just caught us at the end. But at least you have something to watch back. <laughs> Good timing as well because we're 3 hours 50 in and that's going to be my limit. Mission accomplished. Just got to get back now. Maybe do a bit of exploring on the way back. seeing anything not seeing any bacteria it might come in the form of splotches and it might come in the form of just like cracks on the ground.
Rimshift drive down to 82, that's not bad. 18% loss. Let's get it repaired. 2800 inside the AFMU. Let's see what this takes. So while you're repairing. Oh, can't do it. Yep, can't go outside while it's repairing. Oh, yeah, well, now we can. Are you still repairing though? Mm, very good. Good evening, William. You've got me as I'm just about to sign up, sign off. Actually, can we zoom in and then pull back? Get a better, better field of view there. And one more. I wonder if that mass of stars is still visible on this side. Doesn't doesn't look like it, does it? The star belt. It's not here. Okay, it's done. Used up, wow, uh, almost 700. That's okay. All good everywhere. Power usage 55. Yeah, no thrusters. All right, I'm ending it. It's probably a good time as well. All right, so thanks for hanging with me while we got ourselves all the way out here. Satisfied uh, Mr. Palin's request, a rather strange request, really. Fly 5,000 light years out and I'll tell you where I live, but okay, it's done, and uh, yeah, let me just go back home, but do a bit of exploration on the way back, I think, stop by, see what's around, and get some bios, and when we get back, hand it in, get a bit of extra credits, get some, some rank going, and I might even have a look at the Spanish expressway to exo mastery and see if it'll let me plot anything from out here there's a i don't know though because a lot of it's going to be undiscovered so it's it's probably not going to know out here so it's probably not going to work i would say it's not going to work so let's hope we we get some nice stuff on the way back and you know increase our credits and also our ranking as well and then the next step will be to put some guns into practice and start the mercenary rank off and running all right now we'll shut down kitana for the night or for the week or for whatever it might be now we'll catch you next time and uh 
Yeah, I still have to add some memberships to my end credits. Um, I think they're mainly uh, the gifted ones, so I'm going to add them to the end of the list. I'll do that tomorrow, and they'll be ready for the next stream. So, yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate your time and all of that stuff. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.